welcome. Today we're going to make some stuffed peppers. I have some lean ground beef. I chopped up a pepper and onion. I washed my peppers and I cut them. Break it up. I didn't put nothing in the frying pan. I'm just breaking up the meat. And so you can start sauteing. I have some rice here which I'm going to rinse out, take the starch out. Once the meat is nicely chopped up and you don't see any more bread, we are going to add our onions and peppers and saute that. Saute everything for another two minutes until the peppers and the onions blend in together and give a nice aroma. While everything is sauteing, if you have fresh spinach, go ahead, I don't have. I always have frozen. So put as much as you like. I'm gonna put three. Blend that in together. And I have chopped that garlic already. Again, if you have fresh, go ahead. How much you like. Okay, for spices, salt and pepper to your taste. I have Montreal steak here. All these other spices, I always add a tablespoon and then I taste it. And if I think I need something uh, more of, I just add it on. But start with a tablespoon of Clubhouse La Grille Montreal steak garlic and pepper, lemon and pepper, and oregano. So I'm going to add my spices now. Give it a nice mix. For about 15 to 20 seconds until everything is blended together and you will smell this nice aroma oh yeah now we're gonna add our rice mine is parboil you can use any kind of rice you like and sauce you could use any kind of sauce i like this one with the stuffed peppers it's garden select six vegetables and garlic and onions, I'm gonna use the whole jar. So I'm going to add half of it to the meat, and I'm gonna use the other half to pour on the peppers. So we're gonna stop it now. Stop the heat and mix everything, blend everything together. I have a little bit of a uh, vegetable broth, which I'm gonna add. Instead of the water, if you have chicken broth, you can also add too, or beef. I've done it with chicken, I like it because of the rice. But right now I have vegetable. You can use beef, whatever you like. Oh my God, this is so good. Just a little bit, give it a little more flavor. Now the heat is off now. I have some fresh parsley and some dill. See, I chop up everything and put it in a Ziploc. It lasts longer. So I'm gonna add that. So mix everything together and we're ready. I've set my oven at 375. Everything is mixed nicely. Now you can just taste the juice and see if you need anything. I already tasted mine. It doesn't need nothing. So now all I have is the peppers because again, I'm at my oldest daughter and the boys, they don't like 
the peppers or the zucchini or nothing. <laughs> they just like the stuffing. And my youngest daughter, those, those grandchildren the same, and my sons, my granddaughter and my grandson. All of the grandchildren don't like nothing. I say, okay, I'm gonna make stuffed peppers, yeah. Just the stuffing, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, so that's why I made a lot of uh, stuffing. And then we're just gonna have a pepper each. <laughs> Actually, I like the stuffing too. So now we're just gonna stuff the peppers. <laughs> well, you have to please everyone, right? Oops, stay there. And what I do is, that's why I said I keep the rest of the sauce. I'm going to put a little bit of sauce inside. And then put the lid. Oh, that one goes there. And then this one goes there. And the peppers are on one side and the filling on the other side. <laughs> I like to put lots of vegetables and spinach. It gives it so much flavor in the onions also. And then of course the parsley and the dill. So I'm just gonna fill up here with some filling, put it on the side there. And there's a little bit of sauce left, just pour it over. And I have half a jar of water because the rice is gonna get more thicker. So you need some water and some sauce together blended. There we go. And now we're gonna bless it with about three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil for the rice and the peppers. And it's gonna be in the oven. Just mix that together. Mix everything nicely. So the water and the tomato sauce and the olive oil is all mixed, blended together. And we're gonna put it in the oven at 375, half an hour to 40 minutes until it's ready. After about 15 minutes, put your oven at 385 so they can get a little bit the pepper's color. If you want to put it at 400 for more color, your choice. So mine took about 35 minutes. I don't want them to roasted the peppers. This is fine. So look at that. Now. Also the rice is not too well done. So enjoy. Always eat it in good health. Oh yes. And I'm you can have it with a sour cream or yogurt on the side. So enjoy. Always eat it in good health. Don't forget to subscribe and God bless.